takes up in front of the gate of the industrial area in the lower city. You'll have to be there at 6 p.m. Make sure you're not late or they'll leave without you. Keep up if you can. Your soul is my plunder. My tears fall into the chaos. Pray for the dead. Welcome! A customer! This is so exciting! What can I get you? Well, what do you serve? Anything you want. How about the chef special made from top quality recycled materials? Deep fried niblet hairballs! Um, are you sure that's actually edible? Oh yes, it definitely won't kill you, I can guarantee it. And since you're my first customer in days, no charge. Nothing ventured. That's the spirit. Take the plunge, I say. Well, does it make your taste buds sing? Are you transported to culinary heaven? This is... Too tart? Too much salt, perhaps? I can brush it off if you like. No, it's actually really good. God, that is a relief. Uh, I mean, of course it's good. I knew you'd love it. I've been working on the recipe for weeks. Unfortunately, it's not very nutritious. People are more health conscious these days, which is ironic considering the times. Nutritious or not, you'd think that more people would come back for this. I think it must be me. I just don't have a head for business. No matter how hard I work, I just can't seem to attract more customers. I've been living on the brink of financial ruin for years now. My son got sick of it, so he left. You've got the chops to be a good cook, though. Why don't you try to find yourself a partner? You know, someone you trust who has a better head for business. Now that you mention it, I hear there's a famous food expert here in Yusnan. Apparently, he specializes in turning around lost causes like mine. I'll bet... No, I know he could help me. But how do I find him? All I know is his name. And what is it? Gordon Gourmet. Despite his fame, he's hard to track down. If you do happen to run into him, could you tell him about CDs? Gordon Gourmet. I'll remember it. You are far too kind. Thank you so much. I hope you find him soon. Hello, welcome. Mm, business is good. It is, thank you. Word of our shop's special flavor has quickly spread through word of mouth. This city is known for its gourmet restaurants, but none can hold a candle to the chefs we have assembled in our kitchens. The best chefs in the city, huh? Lackley mentioned his missing fiance was a great cook. I wonder. Ma'am, is there something I can help you with? I hope so. I'm looking for someone by the name of Filiana. According to her fiancé, she was a fantastic cook. Does this ring look familiar to you at all? Oh, yes, yes, of course, I recognize that. The woman was a wonderful cook indeed. Though the strange thing is, I never knew her by the name of Filiana. She may have assumed another name. Was the woman you knew beautiful enough to turn the head of every man in the room? Hmm, now, this is taking quite an odd turn. She was no doubt a very handsome woman, but very advanced in age. 
I suppose she must have been beautiful enough to turn heads once, but she was undeniably an old woman. Of course, we are all old now that we don't age, but she must have been quite elderly already when time stopped for all of us. An old woman? I suppose that can't be Lackley's lost fiance, but where is she now? I'm afraid I don't know. The lady in question fell ill and left our restaurant. I believe she moved to Luxarian to live with the support of an old friend there. Do you know how to reach her? Or that friend of hers? Unfortunately, I don't know that woman's name or anything else about her. I saw her only once. She was a young woman, and if I recall correctly, wearing a rather unusual hat. Perhaps she was her daughter. I see. Thanks for your time. You've been a great help. Lackley's ring ended up on the finger of a beautiful but old woman somehow. It's possible Filiana sold the ring. I'm not looking forward to telling Lackley about it, but he deserves the truth. He needs to know. Delicious. Who are you? You must be Erin. Here, I have a letter for you from Reddick. Reddick? <laughs> well, that's a name from the past. Wait, I thought he was dead. <laughs> Let me see that thing. Well, that's his handwriting, all right. I'd recognize it anywhere. Here, I've kept the journal with me, just as I promised him. I don't mean to pry, but how do you two know each other? We used to date. Not one of my finer moments, that's for sure. Hindsight, you know. But that was lifetimes ago. He made me keep this while we were still together. Why would he give it to you instead of keeping it? Have you read it? <laughs> the thought never even crossed my mind. And I knew anything that bastard Reddick was involved with couldn't be good. Please take it. I'm sick of carrying it everywhere. I'm just happy to wash my hands of the whole thing. It's your problem now. All right, I get it. Thanks. Light, you found his journal. I can't believe it. I know, right? Weird, huh? What I don't understand is why there are so many people involved. First Reddick had it, then he gave it to his friend Orin, for safekeeping. I wonder if it holds some sort of big secret. A secret so dangerous, just having the journal in his possession could put him at risk. What do you think? I think... I think I should read the journal before I give it back. It would be the fastest way to find out what's going on. But do you really think you should? I mean, it is private after all. But does it really matter at this point? I mean, we're already neck deep in his affairs. It's all for his benefit anyway, right? Okay, it's up to you. But remember, what's been read can't be unread. If you want to do this, you're on your own. I need to know the truth. I need to know for Renolf, for his own sake. Day 2505. I searched every inch of Yusnan. I found no clues as to who killed my wife and child. Day 3229. I came across a merchant in the Warren who had a valuable piece of information about the case. A certain business rival wanted me out of business. Was this his doing? Did he kill my family to make some sort of sick point? Day 4762. I can't stop picturing my daughter's corpse. I can't erase the image from my head. I have nothing to live for anymore. But I can't rest until I find justice. My family deserves it. Day 15756. Revenge is imminent. Mark my words, justice will be served. Day 15757. Justice will be served. Day 15758. Justice will be served. Day 15759. Justice will be served. Day 15760. Justice will be served. Justice will be served. Justice will be served. Justice will be served. Justice. This is 
I, I can't believe Renolf had to live through this kind of tragedy. His wife and child were killed by a business rival. I can't begin to imagine how he must have felt. The journal begins from the day after the incident and goes on for years. I mean, look at the dates. He must have been chasing the killer for decades. It looks like he was consumed by the thought of revenge and nothing else. But wait, there must be a mistake. Remember what Renolf said before? He told us that he had never had a family of his own. I don't think he was lying. I think that's what he honestly believes. I think he truly doesn't remember what happened. Look at these journal entries, the same words written over and over. He couldn't deal with reality. He must have cracked. Lost his sanity. Yeah. And with it, all his memories. In the end, it was the only way he could survive. Cutting himself off from the past is what's kept him going. He doesn't mourn his family, because he doesn't know they ever existed. Are you the famous food expert? Possibly. I do boast a certain renown in culinary circles. It cannot be denied. I see. CD's restaurant, you say? I do hate to see a good restaurant go undiscovered by the dining public. So, will you help him out? I can take you right there. Oh, no. CD's restaurant? I'm afraid you will have to find someone else. I'm sorry. I can't persuade you? Impossible. This city is overflowing with restaurants crying out for the deft helping hand of Gordon Gourmet. I'm run ragged trying to keep up. And, well, you see... Uh, right, my rule. I have an ironclad policy. I cannot help an establishment unless the owner approaches me directly. You just made that up, didn't you? <sighs> All right, can you do this for me? Just give me some advice now and I'll pass it along to the owner. You don't have to come to the restaurant at all. That sounds reasonable. I mean, I'd hate to see a restaurant serving fried niblet hairballs go under. Except, if I give advice, I need to make sure that it is communicated accurately, with total precision. And that means my messenger has to understand the instructions perfectly. Well, I guess that rules me out. I don't know the first thing about fine dining. Oh, you don't have to be a top chef, or even a garde manger. All you need is a discerning palate. Practically anyone can acquire one with a little training. I'm not sure what you mean by a discerning palate, but I don't think I have one. Trust me when I say it can be found. In fact, a tour of the best establishments of the Glutton's Quarters should do. Let's check in. Here at the... Welcome. When offering a complete dining experience to discerning patrons, superb food and excellent drinks are not enough. One must always anticipate the needs of your patrons. I am constantly assessing the dining space from the viewpoint of my customers, the comfort, the decor. Our customers want more than just the meal. They come for the memories they can savor for years to come. That was useful information, but you still have more to learn. You should visit more restaurants in the Glutton's Quarter. Welcome. We have a popular selection of sweets. Our customers come here to put down their shopping bags and rest their weary feet. Our cakes and sweets are the perfect pick-me-up for just about everyone. We put a lot of love into our cakes, and that's what makes them so good. They're like treats for your palate and soul. Light, I'm glad you're enjoying all the food, but I hope all these rich meals don't slow you down. Come enjoy the healthy fruits of the earth! Even kids who hate greens love my veggie dishes! Vitamins and vegetables are determined by their color. You want a wide variety for a well-balanced diet. You're gonna be a real food connoisseur by the time this is over. You just have three more restaurants left to visit. Right up, get the best meat and kebabs in Yusnan. Search for the intruder, calling herself the savior. She has rose-colored hair and 
Our meat is shipped directly from the wildlands. We use only natural ingredients, none of that synthetic stuff. Grilling and roasting are the best. The key is knowing how to seal in the juices and flavors. And we do that better than anyone else. Two more places. Every one of our fish is fresh caught and delicious. We get our seafood fresh every morning. Comes straight out of the ocean. Tastes great raw or grilled. A chef is even more important when preparing uncooked dishes. The way you slice a tuna makes all the difference in the world. Almost there, Light. You have one more restaurant left to visit. Welcome. How can I be of help? From the elegant simplicity of straight spirits on the rocks to complex and fruity concoctions with little umbrellas, we serve all kinds of drinks. Cocktails can be served, chilled or warm, shaken or stirred. Everyone has their own preferences. We encourage customers to consult with our staff to create the perfect cocktail to accompany their evening. Well, and how might I be of help today? What do you say, Light? Do you feel like you've learned all there is to know? Listening to scraps of advice from chefs won't make me an expert. Besides, most of what they told me was common sense, and they didn't tell me anything I hadn't heard before. Maybe you should go back and talk to a real expert. Go to the Tell banquet of the Lord and see what Gordon Gourmet has to say. Calling herself the savior. She has rose-colored hair and is carrying an enormous weapon. Citizens are asked to report persons matching this description. Welcome, to everyone. To the well, how goes the culinary tour? I did what you suggested. I visited the top restaurants in the neighborhood. That is excellent news. So now let me give you the advice I promised. If CD's restaurant wants to turn its business around, uh, wait, let me ask you something first. You've eaten at CD's and at the best establishments in Yusnan. Why don't you tell me what you think is the main difference between the two? I'd be interested to hear your opinion, in your own words, of course. Why? Is this some kind of test? Yes, exactly. Now tell me, what did all the successful restaurants have in common that poor old CD's lacks? Let me see. Everyone I spoke to was helpful. They seemed honest and open. I don't think they were lying to me, but something... something seemed off. Oh, would you care to elaborate? Well, it almost felt like they were hiding something from the customers. But it wasn't as if they were deliberately lying or trying to deceive anyone. In fact, I don't think they realized it themselves. They thought they were telling me everything they knew. Yes, that's it. It was unconscious, like an instinct. They were hiding something, but they weren't doing it deliberately at all. I'd say the very best chefs, restaurant managers, and bartenders all share some kind of secret. It's like a special ingredient that makes their food stand out from the others. What a wonderful deduction. You have hit the nail on the head. To think you discovered this answer only after visiting a few establishments. It is as you say. The best, most successful restaurants have a certain je ne sais quoi, a secret something that makes their offerings unique. And finding that something, that is what I do best. In other words, if the restaurant does not already have a special something, then I simply cannot help it. Then what about CDs? Do you think you can help him? I can tell you this. The chef there already knows his secret. The talent is there to make that restaurant a success. Unfortunately for him, the secret spice that gives his dishes flair is extremely rare. He cannot secure supplies, and that is why he struggles. Let me be specific. Once upon a time, CD's recipes all featured the spice commonly known as civet musk. But then supplies dried up and the restaurant fell into a long decline. You seem to know a lot about CDs. Well, a long time ago... Let's just say we have a close history and leave it at that. Fine by me. All I need to know is that if I can find this spice, the restaurants should start bringing in customers. Yes, exactly. The problem is the spice is not easy to find. In fact, the only way to acquire it would be to defeat certain monsters. Such a shame. All for want of a single spice, his restaurant is failing. He has the recipe for success. He just needs the final ingredient. Welcome to the only shop you'll ever need.
has road Everyone who signed up for the tour to see the show is meeting up at 6 p.m. You have to be at the gate to the industrial area by then. Subscription to the nearest security officer. that fragrance anywhere. You found Civet Musk. Thank you indeed. It's very kind what you're doing. Ceres is lucky to have you on its side. Why are you thanking me? If anyone should be grateful, it's me and the owner of Ceres for all of your helpful advice. Oh, uh, quite so. When you put it that way, of course you're right. I just get caught up in a project and start thinking it's my own restaurant I'm saving. But back to business. Here, I developed this new and original recipe. I want you to take it back to Cedis together with the civet musk you acquired. The owner will be waiting anxiously for you. So, you still don't want to meet him yourself? Uh, I'm afraid that won't happen. Not ever again. However, that doesn't stop me from wishing him and Cedis the very best. Please tell him that whatever happens, I'll be praying for his success. Lightning, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Do you remember what the owner of CDs told us when we met? You mean the story about his son that ran away from home when the restaurant started struggling? Great minds, Hope. We've both been thinking that maybe this son of his went on to become a famous food expert. And that's why Gordon won't meet CDs owner. But he still clearly wants to help out. Let's take this. Gordon Gourmet created a new recipe for you. You should make it with this civet musk. Do that and you'll be able to save your restaurant. At least, that's what he said. Why, why, thank you! This is wonderful! How can I ever repay you? This is incredible! Everything is here in black and white! A groundbreaking dish! I'd never have thought to do half the things in this recipe. The genius of Gordon Gourmet oozes from every word. Notice anything else? About the recipe? No, not particularly. It's well organized, written in a clear hand. Wait! This handwriting, it looks strangely familiar. Yes, I've seen it before. These swirls, these bold loops. Could it be? I think so. It turns out Gordon Gourmet has a secret identity. He's your long lost son. He is? And you're sure it was him who created this wonderful recipe? But more importantly, he's in this town. Is he happy? You have nothing to worry about. He's doing great. Except, I'm really sorry, but I don't think he wants to see you again. I can't tell you where he is. But why? Yes, we quarreled when he left, but that was a long time ago. Is he still angry at me? Do you have a message for him? I can make sure he gets it. Well, how about this? I'm gonna make his dish, just like the recipe lays out. Would you be so good as to deliver it to him? At the very least, I want him to try it. Truth be told, what I really want to tell him is to come back to CDs and work with me. Perhaps if he knew that I still haven't lost my touch, would that be enough to entice him back? I don't know. I don't think words alone will do it, but if he tries your dish and likes it, that might be enough for him. And there it is, finished at last. Here, please, I want you to be the first to taste it. All right, I'm feeling hungry anyway. Wow, this might be the most delicious thing I've ever had in my entire life. Really, it's incredible. Why, thank you. Although all the credit must go to my son, it was his doing. 
Here, I've made enough for one more. I've asked you for many favors, but would you do this last thing for me? Sure. I'll take it to Gordon Gourmet. Smell what I think I smell? I do, don't I? That must be my recipe! Yes, the owner at Seedy's insisted that I bring you a portion so you could taste it for yourself. I see. Well, then... Oh, yes. A perfect balance of fuzzy mutton and civet musk. The palate sings. It's a microcosm of culinary delight. A theme park of olfactory and gustatory attractions. And if you think that's hyperbole, I've only just begun. This is even better than I imagined. I always knew he was a skilled chef, but this... So, why don't you go back there and help him out again in the kitchen? Go back? Well, what do you mean? I've never... Oh, all right. Oh, the cat's out of the bag. You've somehow figured it out. What my true identity is. Yes, I admit it. I am indeed the son of the owner of Seedy's Restaurant. It was a long time ago, but one day we quarreled, and I left the shop vowing never to return. We fought over cooking, you see. But even after I left, I vowed that one day I would rebuild the restaurant. That's what started me on my journey to becoming Gordon Gourmet. Since then, I devoted every waking hour to learning about the culinary arts. After many years of study, I finally had an epiphany. I realized what Seedy's restaurant needed to regain its former glory. You had a falling out because of the menu? But when your father saw your recipe, he was thrilled. All he could talk about was how he dreamed of you coming back. So the two of you could run the restaurant together, just like old times. So he recognizes my ability. Oh, but it's too late. I can't go back now. The fact is, I abandoned him in the restaurant when times were tough. I'm ashamed of what I did. I can't face him again. You mustn't feel that way, my son. F father how did you find me? My apologies to the young lady, but I wanted to see you. I followed her after she left the shop. What do you say? Let's start over. You set out on your own, did things your own way, stayed true to yourself, working hard to achieve your dreams. And now look what you can do. The recipe that you created was amazing. I've never seen the likes of it before. What can I say except that I am proud of you? But father, I... I left you. Not in my wildest dreams could I have conceived of such a dish. Indeed, if you had given it to me back then, I doubt I would have recognized its greatness. But worse, I wouldn't have believed you could be capable of such a thing. I always underestimated you, my son. For that, you have my sincere apologies. It's all right. And for what is worth, I'm sorry for abandoning you and the restaurant when you were struggling to keep it going. Looks like you two have made up. Yes. Now let's get to it, shall we? Together. We'll, we'll make, make CDs a success, success again! again.